cool. All right. So just right. say take three. Mm -hmm. Stand in the front, but don't whip right off. And, you know, kind of take your time. Okay, you can get up doing this. All right. And when limo driver tells you, you're on. And when I'm done, Jeremy, you're going to come over. Then I'm going to have Hannah come over. Then all the kids will come over. Look, it's fire. Everybody, yay! This is the man we want to get to. <laughs> this is why you have an agent, a manager. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? Good. We finally get the interview. It's been a while. It's been a while. I know. So you have Keep It Movie Productions. Yep. Tell us about it. Man, I don't know where to start. You know, I just, you know, just, that word Keep It Moving me, like, if your dream seems like it's a million miles away, you know, you just got to fight through all the obstacles. But with God, what the obstacles are, you can't stop. You got to keep it moving. And your website, tell everybody what it's all about. Um, it's www.kimprod.com. Right, Keep It Moving Productions. Now, you're working on a film. And I have to back up, because these are new actors here. They're with Karen. You know Karen for a long time. Right. And she highly uh, recommends you and respects you in the industry. And we did an audition one time for a couple kids and uh, probably a hundred. Yes. And one stood out and she had to uh, drown in a lake. Right. And everybody was doing this drowning, screaming, and she came up to us and said, oh, now are there sharks in the water? <laughs> yes. And how many, and what else, something? Basically what she did was um, she, she kind of, all of them were great performance, but what she did, she kind of like pushed the envelope a little bit. Meaning, like, she just kind of, like, went outside the box. Meaning, like, she left me with that memory. Even though all of them did a great job of performing, but I will never forget when she said, that made me laugh when she said, mm -hmm. is there sharks in the water? Do you see the difference between that? If you stand out and you do something just a little bit different than somebody else, they're going to mm -hmm. remember you. Yes. How important is it for headshots? Uh, because people say, I got headshots. I don't need training. I don't need an agent. I'm so talented. I'm good looking. Da, da, da. They have to have some substance. As a director, if somebody comes into you with a, head, with a headshot, that's okay. And they have no training in a resume. What do you do? Well, what I would do is tell you about don't take headshots. Get the training first. Get the proper training first. And then the headshots and your tools are going to come later. Exactly. And how does somebody send a headshot or resume to you uh, with their agent's name on it or manager's name uh, to Keep It Movie Productions? Do they? They can, uh, they can send it through email. They can send it through uh, my email is on my website. And, you know, I'm, my partner, Jordan, and I, we, are, we accept all headshots. So we won't turn nobody down. But just always do something different. Right. You know, take a picture with like a, a red shirt. Take a picture with like a, a purple shirt. Because most people take pictures with black and white. Mm -hmm. Do something like a little different. Okay. Also, too, said, you know, um, one second, I'll be right back because I need more filming on that one, too. One second. Can you uh, keep going with that one? Because that's easier for yeah. me to do the little short clips. He's got the main one, but. I just didn't want it to pick up on the camera. Oh, that's okay. 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 I didn't know if you wanted For the video? One. Yeah, because it makes okay, sense. Okay, then that one's on? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're on. Okay. So, Clay, you are also an actor. Yes. And you were just in a same film? Or you were in a yes. film in uh, New Mexico? Yes. The film just got picked up and um, it was in Sundance Film Fest. Mm -hmm. And um, I auditioned. Basically, I had to practice what I preach. Because uh -huh. I had to go in addition in New Mexico. So I did something a little bit different. I took the script, read it through it, you know, 
I kind of tweak it a little bit, use my own words, and out of 200 people, hmm. I got the part. Wow, so what did you do different as an actor? Now we're gonna jump on that, so as an actor to get that part. When I first did, what I did different was I went in and asked questions. Mm -hmm. I didn't just go in there and read like everybody else. I went in and asked them, tell me about the character. Where's he coming from? Where's he trying to go? You know, mm -hmm. ask questions and like, um, you see how you know, important that is, kids? So don't be right. afraid to like, don't be afraid to talk to uh, the producers. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't go in the dead. Bring energy. Right. That's what's still. They don't want a zombie unless they're doing a zombie yes. movie. <laughs> right? Because a lot of people they get scared. They mm -hmm. they they get frightened. You know, don't be afraid. You gotta understand the producers, the director, they are human just like you. Right. So just go. And talk they're lucky to, to be getting this job. Yeah, just talk to them. <laughs> Right. You know, make them laugh. Do something crazy. Right. Now, you also have done a lot of other films. Uh, yes. Tell us about it. Oh, man. As I, yourself uh, as an actor. When I was in L.A., I lived, um, I worked on a, in a movie called Hancock, Superhero, mm -hmm. with Will Smith. I did a small role in there. I made a small cameo. Did you get to meet Will Smith? Yes. I talked to him. Just like I'm yeah. talking to you right now. Right. I talked to Will just like you and I talked. See, a lot of people don't realize you, you could be on the set of your favorite actor, and I've been blessed to meet many of them and yes. interview them as well, So, except Oprah. Yes. yes. And also, I was, okay. on, um, I was on a show, a little small kid's show called Everybody Hate Chris. Oh, remember that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, was on, I, I had a small role in that show. I met Terry Crews. We was at Paramount Pictures shooting that. And um, the guys, I talked to them like they just you know me moving. Right. Right. So that's that's what I mean by pushing the envelope. Mm -hmm. Pushing the envelope. You can't be afraid to talk to them. Don't talk to when you meet people. Don't talk to them about the industry. Mm -hmm. Great advice. You know, we're really excited because there's so much more. Uh, I have a funny story, and, and I'm going to come back in a second. Uh, we uh, met your partner. When I say we, Gucci Buffett and me, I had to fly to Florida to uh, judge a national beauty pageant, and I have this Bichon Blue that was a puppy. And I called Clay, we had met, it's a long story, and we'll right. get into that another time, so he said, well, my partner's in Orlando. So I'm, I'm pulling into the Hyatt, or one of the nice hotels for this five-star hotel, and they don't take pets. Right. So I call, and his buddy, his partner for production is still in that area, and he goes, can you watch her be Jean Poo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so he did for two days, and uh, he said, your dog barked all night, mm -hmm. but he told me he lived next to a cemetery. And I said, maybe. Yeah, they were like maybe Buffett oh. saw other things, but <laughs> I want to thank you. And again, right. his name is Jordan Warner. Thank you, Jordan. I haven't forgot you yet. <laughs> Actually, the yeah. film that we have, uh, the second film that we're working on a lot, Jordan was an actor in the film a long time ago called Waiting. Awesome. For Ryan Reynolds and Justin Long. Jordan had a, uh, he made a guest star of, he was the appearance on that film. Mm. And our second film that we have going on that's going to be shot here in Denver, Jordan is the lead in that film. Awesome. Well, we're going to hook you up with the UV Television Network that we're going to be on in Boca. Uh, I have a conference call with Mike that I want you to do as well. We've got some exciting things that are happening with our circle of people from AMC Nashville and the Unheard Voices. So there's a part, I believe, with your films on our new network as well. Yes, so I need you to call them when we're done, when you're on your, your way. Any other advice to the kids uh, before I bring them on? Um, my advice, my advice is, honestly, is don't be afraid mm -hmm. to push the envelope. I'm going to tell you a true story. Danny DeVino from Texas. Texas. Remember Danny DeVino? Yes, I remember. Remember the TV show Danny DeVino? He was reading the script, and he just ripped it up in front of the producer director's face. Wow. Don't do that. He said. <laughs> See their eyes but what? <laughs> he said he just ripped it up. He said, I don't think it, I don't think it should be done this way. I'm going to show you how to do it. Wow. He went out there and performed, and the rest is history. And yeah. another thing is, is don't be afraid to like talk to people, because always keep your tools on you 24/7. And that means tools. That means your headshots, your resume, your demo reel. I don't care where you're going throughout your whole day. Right. Keep something on you all the time, because this business is fast. Yep. Fans, fans, That's right. Somebody fans. else, you may be someplace, somebody else is there, and they have their pictures. And so, also, also, too, is you have a couple agents, or you have an agent here? Yes, I have an agent here. I have one in New Mexico. I have one in LA. Okay. I have a manager here also. 
Who do they call for like your main for TV and film? Here in Denver? Mm -hmm. Karen Lincoln. Wow, what a coincidence. We're right here at LincolnTalent.com. She's a great, great Very. agency here, management company. I trust company. her 100%, and uh, mm -hmm. me and Karen are going to go a long ways. That's right. And also, that lady behind the camera over here, her husband, we're going to get on very shortly because I have a movie script. Maybe maybe there's something in there for you. He said there's 400 speaking parts. Okay. Atlanta. Okay, wow. You never know. It's networking, good. right? Good. It's all about, like I said, just yep. don't be afraid to talk to people. Right. Give Karen's number if they want to book you for TV and film. Okay. You're not, you know. Will. Right now? Definitely. <laughs> we'll put the credits under the tape. Uh, you know, so I know it's a 303. Uh, Wendy, what is our number here? 303-322-5004. Okay, that sounded like I was in a confession box at church, and I cannot hear that one. <laughs> but can, can you come over here, Wendy? Uh, I know I you're busy on the floor. Here. Okay, we need a card. Can we? Can I announce, sir? Can you announce that for me, Ralph? I mean, um. Okay, all you kids are going to come over here and I'm going to trade and then Jeremy, you're going to ask them some questions. Okay. Okay. Do you want to be in front of Cam? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. Okay, now, we'll see. Uh, this is why you're here. Just say the number. Yeah, just say, hey, small. Thanks so much for uh, coming in because I have to get together two, two, and I have only to Friday. But I need you to connect with her. <laughs> Okay. Good job. All right, and the script is over all there. Right. I don't okay. know. Can okay. All right, you're on. Okay, I asked for the number, All right, so if you'd like to book a, a wonderful, not just producer, director, uh, he's an actor, fabulous actor, in a movie that was at the Sundance Film Festival. Right. Uh, we have Clay Walker. You can add him to Facebook. Yes. But uh, you can call LinkedInTalent.com at 303-322-5049. Good job. Okay, we'll be back with all of the kids and our new reporters at Marvel's uh, Kids on Camera. See you in a minute. Thank you. I know your hands get tired, huh? <laughs> on Reshow with Marvel's Kids Talent out and about. So, um, I have one question for you. Okay. What What do you want from an actor? I just want the actors to be real. Whatever you audition for, be that character. Remember, when you audition for anything, it's no longer you anymore. You gotta forget about you. Bring that character to be real, to life. I mean, study that character 24 hours a day before you audition, before you go into audition. That's it. Who else has a question for, for Clay? Go ahead. Well, Give him your name, tell him who you are, don't be shy. It's fun, you know, it's fun. It's all about being creative. You can't sit around and wait for parts to come to you. You gotta go out and create your own parts, you know? Well, well, it's fun. Pause, pause. You guys, y'all moving around in the back. When y'all doing interviews, you don't wanna be doing this and moving around and whatever, so y'all wanna look real professional, right? Mm -hmm. Stand up straight. Don't Close pull over. Okay, check this out, because the cameras are on y'all, okay? So we've got too much dancing around, too many whatever, so that don't look good, okay? Remember, y'all y'all looking good. Y'all on camera, y'all looking professional, okay? So remember, okay? Always have your smile, nice you smile, or whatever, okay? Okay? Right. So don't, don't do no dancing around. Okay, you see where you are? Okay, you're on the camera, right? So you're, not, you're, in, you're in the whole scene. So you want to be looking good, right? Deborah? Right, Eric? So you want to look good, okay? So stand there professional, you know. Don't dance around like you got to go to the bathroom. There you go. All right, y'all ready? Okay. You Who's ready? next with the next question? Who's next? Ever, you Everett's have a question. Got a question. Hey. to go into the to the NFL. I was in a life-threatening accident. This is why my eye is like it is. You know, I was in a life-threatening accident, so I had to utilize that to, my, to the best of my ability. So then I started performing, making people laugh, cracking jokes, and, and just, then I realized that I had a gift. Uh, I had no fears. So uh, 
I realized that, you know, I want to go into show business, be an actor. You know, then I will get the proper training. My mom said training. Training, training, training. Got the proper training, then I went on to University of Nebraska, go be red. Then I uh, went on to, to uh, LA. And it was a star popping up for me. Remember, I, but when I was in LA, I stayed in acting class. Stay in class, stay in class. Now, a lot of, a lot of stars right now, they still in classes right now. They've been in the game for like 10 years, 20, 50 years. They still in acting class. So, that's what I want to do. Anybody else? Any, uh huh? University of Nebraska. I was sitting in class, they had like a big school. I came from a small town, they had like 19 students in that class in high school. Then I went on to University of Nebraska, they had 350 students. So that's a huge, huge transition. So the professor asked the question, can you give it in the volunteer to come on stage? I raised my hand, ran on stage. And I came on one line. Sometimes maybe one word. Like when I gave young lady the job, she just said, had to say help. She had said help twice. Somebody was drowning. Her uh, sister was drowning. She had to run and, and scream from the top of her lungs, help, help. But I had to see it. Not just saying it, I had to see it in the face. You know what I'm saying? You got to feel it. Not just like, help, help, yeah. help me. You yeah, like feel it. So, can you, can you, can you, one of you try it? Like if you were auditioning for him for a part, just an idea, and they had to say help. Right. Um, Everett, how would you say help? Help. Okay, no. Jeremy. No, you gotta, first of all, you gotta do, you gotta, imagine you got a sister, right? Sister and brother, right? Oh, uh, I'm just brother. Okay, you got brothers, right? You love him dearly, right? Vice versa, you got a sister and brother, right? You love his family dearly, right? Imagine y'all walking through the park, y'all's at the swimming pool, right? And one of your brothers started to drown, about to die, literally dying. How would you say help? Would you be smiling? No. All right, then. You see the How difference. What would you do? I would. You smiling still? Thanks. If he was.